guys, it's Casera, and today I'm going to be doing my review for Daughter from the Dark by Marina and Sergei Dyachenko. <laughs> got this book from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review and Daughter from the Dark was a book that I was really excited for because Marina and Sergei Dyatrenkov wrote the book Vita Nostra which I read last year and absolutely love. It was like an instant new favorite of mine so I wanted to read more books by them so when I saw that they're having another book coming out I was really excited for it. I didn't know anything about this book going into it and it's very very different than I was expecting. It was about a character named Aspirin who is a DJ and he's coming home one night. He finds this young girl on the street all by herself and takes her home and gives her a home for the night. And then the next day when they wake up he wants to take her to talk to social services basically and then this guy shows up and she claims to be his long lost daughter and the guy pulls out a birth certificate with his name on it and even though he knows he's never had a daughter and he doesn't even know the mother who's listed on the birth certificate he chooses to keep the girl and a lot of things ensue after that so for these reviews i talk about four things character plot world building and writing style so we're going to start with character and I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really attached to any of the characters in this book. Like I really, really wanted to be attached to them. The main character, DJ Aspirin, I didn't really care for very much. He was kind of an unlikable character, but I felt like he wasn't that developed to be like a really good unlikable character. Alona, the daughter, I actually really loved because she was diabolical and I love that about her. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And those are really the only two characters that are in this book, so I'm gonna move on to plot. And the plot was interesting. It definitely has some mysteries to it that you would expect from a book by Marina and Sergei Dyachenkov because they have kind of mind twisty sort of books and that's what I was expecting. And it is sort of mind twisty because you're not really sure what's real and what's not, which is what I expected from this book. But at the same time, there's this down to earth quality to it that I was expecting more from the plot than I ended up getting. And the main like point of the plot where it was about Alona who was looking for her brother, like I wasn't super invested in that. I did enjoy the plot, mind you, because it did have the like the mysterious quality that I was looking for, but the ending didn't quite do it for me. And then usually I talk about world building. I don't really have too much to say about the world building in this other than the atmosphere of it was really interesting because it was set in our world, but there was sort of a mysterious feeling to it where you weren't really sure what else existed because obviously Alona was a little bit different. She was a little supernatural. You didn't really know where she was from. Everything she said you can tell was not true but somehow they became reality and I liked that aspect of the world building. And then of course there's Mashutka, who is Alona's teddy bear, who also like is very good at killing people, which was fantastic. And I really, really love that aspect of the world building. Like that was probably my favorite thing about this book was Mashutka. But other than that, there was not, I think that much to say about the world building. And then of course I talk about writing style and the writing style really surprised me because it felt very different from the last book that I read by Marina Zergit Dajankov. Like it didn't feel like their typical writing style. It had a more of a down to earth quality. And I think while it worked really well for the book, I do think that it made me want more from the book than I ended up getting. With a more like lyrical atmospheric sort of writing, I don't expect like concrete endings, but when it had that more down to earth quality, I was expecting more of a concrete ending, even though like, like I didn't expect that going into the book, if that makes sense. Overall, I did really enjoy this book though, and I ended up giving it 4.25 stars. It's definitely one that I recommend, though I don't recommend this be the first book that you read by these authors, because they definitely have other books that are a lot better, in my opinion. If you read this book, please let me know down in the comments, because I would love to discuss with you guys. I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos, so if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!